Godzilla. So shout out to y'all once again for putting your boy on Godzilla minus one. Um, I remember that I was not checking for it. I remember that um, it was a friend of mine that basically talked me into going to go see it as well. And um, I was just like, you know what? Let's go do it. And we saw it in IMAX, and it was one of the best movies I had seen that whole year. So Godzilla minus one, I already put, um, I already put my review up and all of that. So yes, 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 that was a fantastic film. Um, now the question was, well, if we have this Godzilla minus one, are we gonna get some more? And I'm like, you know, I I don't think I'd mind more. So the director, um, for it. Um, I don't want to butcher his name, but, uh, Takashi, I know it's it's Takashi. Um, he actually weighed in on whether a sequel could happen or not. So I wanted to share, uh, some of it. Now I'm going to try and avoid some of the spoilers just in case if anybody still hasn't seen Godzilla minus one. Um, but he did weigh in on, um, what a sequel might look like. So he goes on here. And says that uh, I would certainly like to see what the sequel would look like. I know that uh, Shiki, uh, Shama's, uh, Shiki Shama's uh, war seems over. I think that's him right here. Uh, and we've reached this state of peace and calm. But perhaps it's the calm before the storm. And the characters have not yet been forgiven for what has been imposed upon them. He goes on to say, I don't know that anyone has pulled off a more serious tone of kaiju versus kaiju with human drama, and that challenge is something I'd like to explore. Now, let me just tell you, that is definitely something um, I have had concerns with. I've told y'all this many times as well, that when it comes to these big kaiju monster type of thing, I'm only here for the monsters. I don't care about all these human dramas. But at the same time, Godzilla minus one did it perfectly. Like they did um, the human drama really, really well. Um, But he's kind of got me here with this whole calm before the storm thing. Now, if you've seen the end of Godzilla minus one, then you know, hey, um, who knows what could happen? (laughs) I'll just say that. Who knows what could happen? Um, But he does go on to say a little bit more here. Uh, When you have movies that feature kaiju battles, I think it's very easy to put the spotlight and the camera on the massive spectacle and it detaches itself from the human drama component. And he goes on explaining that he would need to make sure that the human drama and whatever's happening between the kaiju both have meaning and both are able to affect one another in terms of plot development, mm, this sounds like, if you read between the lines, it sounds like my man is talking about a potential sequel with another kaiju. So my question for y'all, what other monster do you think um, Godzilla should fight? What other monster do you think he should fight in a potential uh, sequel that would make it worth it you know now i got a couple i got a couple now one i've told y'all this before if any director wants to make a sequel to something i hope it comes from an organic place and not just because the movie made a lot of money which i believe it did um but i do think that if they make a sequel i trust takashi to do this because he did a great job with minus one so and and the fact that it's even on his mind that he's willing to find a balance and do these things the right way i like that so um there is one i think one easy one if we're to talk if we're gonna i got four potential monsters that godzilla could face you know i got four of them um and i think the first easy one would be um what's his name uh Ghidorah. Ghidorah, the three-headed one, I think that's an easy fight right there. Like that, that you know, this is like his Joker. 
You know what I'm saying? Like you, you can't. This is like the Batman to the Joker. I mean, you got to have him in there, right? So I would not mind if they did that. Um, now I know that you can do maybe uh Mecha Godzilla, you know, the the hold on, let me get that. Um, you know, the Mecha Godzilla where it's kind of like a robot. I feel like that'll be kind of whack. I don't really I've never really liked Mecha Godzilla. Um, I never really liked the idea of Mecha Godzilla. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that's not someone um, that I would want to see, but I could see them wanting to do that. I'm trying to think of what would be the most common sense progression given where God is, uh, Godzilla minus one left off. Um, and then there was another one. Now, I was thinking Mothra, but I forgot that Mothra is not a villain per se. I know Mothra went against Godzilla here and there, but there was actually a um a villain moth or whatever and I believe it was Batra or whatever. So Batra was kind of like an evil version of Mothra. So maybe maybe that could be it, right? So um that's three what else? I owe y'all one more. So here's my other thing. And I kind of wish that Hollywood would take a look at this. <clears throat> If we're going to get a Godzilla sequel and the director has already come out and basically teased this idea, yes, we could have Ghidorah. Yes, we could do Mecha Godzilla. We could do Batra. We could do all these other different things. I would put a challenge out there that I think it's time that we actually just get an original monster. Why don't we get an original creation for Godzilla to fight against? And maybe this is a creature born from the post-Godzilla world, mutated by radiation or pollution, and just representing the unintended consequences of human actions. I think that'd be pretty cool. Like, if we could actually get something we ain't never seen before, just do that. So, I don't know. You guys let me know. Would you want to see maybe some of the old-school classic monsters or would you like to see maybe some Godzilla go against somebody or something new? Whatever you think, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats. And if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.